All right, guys, you're looking at a first for my channel. Normally, when I feature any type of gear, it's something that I've owned for several months, if not several years. I got in this little guy two days ago, and I'm not happy. Here's what the box looks like for those of you who are curious. It's your typical Spyderco box, only um, quite a bit shorter in length. Let's just get into it. Alright, what you're looking at here is what I'm re realistically seeing on the blade. This is supposed to be satin polished. Um, no, this is, keep in mind, this is the Jess Horn, I'm sorry, the baby Jess Horn Sprint Run model, made in Japan. This is made for collectors, it's supposed to be a tribute to the late Jess Horn. Oh, one of the things you get in the box is actually a generic letter to all customers that outlines the importance that Jess Horn played in the founding of Spyderco. It's a rather interesting, surprising story. So this is supposed to be a tribute knife, and that satin finish is awful. It really is. And it's even worse on the other side because, yeah, that blurry, streaked bit of writing on the blade, that's what I see in real life as well. That's Jess Horn's signature. Mm -hmm. The late Jess Horn. That's his signature. That's what it looks like in real life. Because this satin polish is, quite frankly, substandard. Another issue. The blade opening hole. Now normally, when Spyderco puts a hole in its blade, they reverse chamfer the hole. So that when you put your thumb on it, in order to open it, that hole is not sharp, that hole is not uncomfortable. Yeah, they didn't do that. Once again, Sprint Run, made in Japan, Spyderco knife. This is supposed to be the best of the best. They left that hole sharp. Someone forgot to reverse chamfer it. And they forgot to do the same on the lanyard hole. I think you guys can see that bit of fuzzy material on the inside of the hole. Yeah, that's G10. The scales are made from G10. Clearly, no one reverse chamfered the lanyard hole. So if you put a lanyard through there, realistically it might get frayed. But the lanyard hole is rather small, so... But uh, that is just, I mean, seriously, that is below what you expect in terms of standards from a made in Japan Spyderco knife. It really is. Now, I do feel that that handle is rather thick for such a very small knife. And again, yes, I will have all the measurements, the specifications in the description below. But that is a very thick handle. And here's the problem. This thing feels 
horribly slab-sided. Yes, I can get a good three-finger grip. Yes, that little back hook helps in anchoring the three-finger grip to the knife. But this thing has so many right angles. I mean, basically, this knife feels as though it is 90% complete, and that last 10%, someone just didn't bother. They didn't bother chamfering the blade opening hole. They didn't bother, I'm sorry, they didn't bother reverse chamfering that blade opening hole. They didn't bother reverse chamfering that lanyard hole. They didn't bother giving this knife a proper polish. Now, I'm not joking. This, that is not a thin coating of oil on the blade. That's the finish. The signature, you hold that up to the light and under most angles, it comes out looking just like that. That's what you get with most angles. It comes out looking blurry, it comes out looking streaked, and honestly, no, that's not good enough for a Made in Japan Spyderco knife, and so many right angles, so many right angles. It's like, why didn't anyone take a small Dremel tool and just ever so slightly round out all these right angles? There are so many of them. Remember this guy? My Bird Harrier 2. Budget. Budget brand from Spyderco. Bird brand. Guess what? Yeah. Not sharp. Not 90 degrees. This is the only 90 degree angle you find that's uncomfortable. The lock release. The rest, rounded. Perfectly rounded along the handles where it should be. This, not rounded. Not at all. 90 degrees where it should not exist. Final polishing, final smoothing out, not done on this knife. And that is horribly, horribly disappointing. I mean, this, this is not what you expect from a made in Japan Spyderco knife, especially not one that's part of a sprint one. Very very disappointing. And in case anyone is wondering, yes, I am a huge Spyderco fan. And I probably wouldn't be this upset if I wasn't one. Alright guys, I can't recommend that knife, but I hope you guys at least enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.